Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking back at quizzes and the brand new feature lessons which has now been released in beta. So we look down the left hand side, we go to the create tab, we can see we've now got a choice of quiz or lesson. And I've already started to create a lesson. So I'm going to edit the lesson I've already got. So I can click edit. Down the left hand side we've got the slides that make up our lesson. When I select a slide like I have with the title slide, I can add the title and I can add any additional text. I can also add images and audio. Some of these features will be part of the premium pack. So if I click audio, if I were to click record audio, as you can see, it's part of the, the super plan, which will require extra payment in, as opposed to the free plan, which doesn't. And the same with video, I'm able to add YouTube videos, but again, it asks me to pay for that feature. So it's giving you just a basic slides feature and the video and audio feature requires additional payment and a subscription. So we're gonna focus just on the free features for the moment. So we're gonna go back to my slides. I can click add down the bottom. I can add text. And again, you click on the right hand side to, to add information. And I'm not gonna watch me type, but you could add in your bullet points. And again, you could enter in your general text. And you could carry on doing that. So that's how you add slides. You can copy slides and you can delete slides. We go add again. We've also got the option to add the interactive elements. And I think this is where it's really interesting. So we can choose. And we can see certain ones here. Polls are ungraded. They are marked as correct in the games report. So it's just letting us know that. So we could put in our question. Yeah, so which is your favorite type of question? and then we could have our answers. Multi-choice, poll, or ranking. So we can add our questions in there. And we could keep working our way through until we're happy that we're done. So when we're happy we're done, just to show other content you can add. So we've got a fill in the blanks, a poll and an open-ended question. And you can see linking to external videos. So I'm happy that I've got all the content ready for my ready for my lesson. If I click publish, I've then got the choice to either run it asynchronously as an assign it as homework or synchronously and start a live lesson. So I click start a live lesson. I've got some settings I can alter. So things like I can turn off the slides just like you could and I can hide the leaderboard just like I could with the quiz version of quizzes. I then click present and there is a code there. So if I copy the link I'm going to change instances of Chrome now. And it brings that screen up. So this is what the student is seeing. So I'll go back. I can then start my session. And I can start to toggle through my slides and with bullet lists, they come up at one at a time. So we just go back and look at the student view. They can see the content that's appearing there. I'll toggle back to me and I can just carry on working through my, my slides. And when it comes to questions, it gives them a countdown. And then if I toggle to the student, this is what they see. They get to choose their question. And again, I toggle back and we can see the responses to the poll. 
and I can carry on next. Again, it gives them a countdown. And again, I can just toggle across and look at what the student is seeing. It gives them their feedback and I get to see who answered what. And then I could carry on. Happy to end the presentation now. So I can see the scoreboard. I can click view reports and I can get a summary of who's done what. I can also download that and you can see I've got the questions. So I can see what questions and what responses were given. I get an overview. So if I had multiple players, I'd see that responses there. And there you have it. So a really great addition. Um, just so you've got an idea, it's in American, but at the moment it's saying it's $5 to upgrade. So it's about $60 a year. So it just gives you an idea. I think you could potentially get away without having the, the paid full version, but it's there if you need it. But I think it's a great addition to quizzes and a great way of getting some engagement in with your, with your presentation and your lesson. Similar to Nearpod and some of the other ones which add Shoho, Zuhu Showtime, similar sort of thing, adding that interactivity to your presentation. So I hope you found the video useful. Give it a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.